Welcome everyone to Gentle Yoga. This is Leo Bray on behalf of Kristen Olson's Urban Yoga Center in Palm Springs. You can visit us online at urbanyoga.org or Kristen Olson's Urban Yoga Center on Facebook. Check out the schedule, stop by the tip track. YouTubers, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Classes are organized by playlists, so if you're looking for a certain teacher, you can look for their name. Pretty handy stuff. We'll start out today sitting or kneeling if you'd rather. I'm sitting up on my blocks. You don't have to do that. Sit or kneel so that you're comfortable. That includes doing what is comfortable for you with your hands, with your eyes. Maybe they're closed, maybe they're not. Focus on your breath. Just let it slow down and get deeper. It starts to happen when we start to find stillness and when we direct our attention to our breathing. Observing the movements of each breath and the accompanying sensations. Feel your contact with the floor, with whatever you're sitting on. And notice whatever else is touching upon your senses. Maybe it's the feeling of your clothing against your skin, the movement of air in the room. Maybe scents. Got some incense in the air there. Sounds in your environment. Whatever there is to be noticed, take it in. Situating ourselves in space, in our environment. Scan your body to take in the internal stuff, what's going on in the physical body, and also taking note of what's going on in your mind, what's present in your heart. Remembering that at any point in practice, you can skip or modify whatever you need to to take care of what's going on for you. If you wish to set any personal intentions for today's practice, you can do that now. Let's take three deep clearing breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth with a sigh. hang by your sides and let your chin come down towards your chest. Start to move your head slowly in gentle circles. Exploring and releasing tension in the neck. When you finish the next circle, change direction. And of course, if there's a particular tight spot, particularly tight spot, you can pause back and to rock back and forth in any tight spots you may find. We 
when you finish the next circle, lift your chin, look forward, reach your arms out to the sides, rest your fingertips on the floor. Inhale to raise your right arm up alongside your ear. Exhale to reach to your left. Inhale to come upright. Exhale, come into a twist. Right hand behind you, left hand on your right leg. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, twist some more. You twist and wind, come through center. Inhale, lift your left arm up alongside your ear. As you exhale, reach to the right. Inhale, come up. Exhale, come into a twist. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, see about twisting some more. Let yourself unwind, come through center. Bring your hands in front of you and walk them forward. Find a simple forward fold. Let your neck disengage. Breathe into your back. Inhale and walk your hands back. Press yourself upright. Make your way up onto your hands and knees. Inhale, bring your heart forward. Let your head and tailbone go up. Exhale, draw your heart up. Let your head and tailbone come down. And repeat for a few more breaths. Cow pose, cat pose. After your next exhale, come back to the table with a neutral spine. Reach back, press into the ball of your right foot. On an inhale, reach your left arm to the side, parallel to the ground. If you want to go further on the next inhale, pick your right foot up, reach straight back. To go even further, if you like, bend your knee, reach back, grab your foot or ankle, kick against your hand, lift your chin and your knee. Release, lower down, reach back and press into the ball of your left foot. And then now reach your right arm to the side. If you like, on the next inhale, pick your left foot up and reach straight back. Then if you like, bend your knee, reach back. See about that bind. Release, lower down. Step your right foot up between your hands. You can use blocks under your hands here to ease the transition if you like. Step your left foot up next to your right, hang out in your forward fold, sway back and forth, bending one leg, bending the other leg. Heavy head, heavy arms. Inhale, lift up halfway. 
Exhale now. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Put your hands down at your sides. Raise your right shoulder towards your ear. Slide it back. Let it down. And your left shoulder up and back and down. Inhale, reach out toward the walls. As you exhale, reach for your shoulder blades and hug yourself, or if you like, take eagle arms. If you take eagle arms, reach your elbows and hands forward and up. Inhale, open up. Exhale, across the opposite way. Inhale, open up. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, out and up. Interlace your fingers, turn your palms up, reach your palms up, look up at your hands, lift up your heart. Inhale to come up right. Exhale, bend to the left. Inhale to come up. Exhale, bend to your right. Inhale to come up. Exhale, let your arms down. Inhale, out and up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Step back to plank. If you prefer a shorter plank, go ahead and let your knees down. Let your hips come down in line with your shoulders and your knees. Exhale, slowly lower all the way down. Press into your hands, inhale, lift your head and chest to whatever height feels okay for your lower back. Exhale, rock back and slowly up to downward facing dog. And pedal your feet up and down, walk your dog a bit. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, pull down. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift up, halfway. Exhale, down. Step back to plank. On an exhale, lower, halfway or all the way. Inhale, bring your heart forward. Exhale, back and up to down dog for a couple breaths. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, lift that way. Exhale, full. Inhale, all the way up. And exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, down. Rest your fingertips on the floor. Step your left foot back. Runners lunge. You can use blocks under your hands here if you like. Okay, welcome. Sleep. Shift the weight to your left hand. Inhale, reach your right arm forward. Reach it up. Reach it back. Exhale, reach up and forward and down. Let's do it two more times. It's like three quarters of a circle. And then tense your fingers again. 
you know, reach forward and up, crescent lunge. If this high lunge is too much, anytime gently let the back knee down and curl the back toes, shift to this lower lunge instead. And you can always bring one or both hands to your knee for steadiness. Bring your arms up when you're steady on your feet. And it could just be one arm with one on the knee, or maybe both hands on the knee. Skip the arms. Exhale, sink forward, lower your arms. Inhale, bite back and raise your arms. Make the movement as big or small as you like. And follow the pace of your breath. You don't have to breathe at my pace. From the top of the movement, twist to the left, left hand back, right hand forward, right hand can always drop to the knee for steadiness. Come to your center with your hands by your heart and twist to the right. Come back to your center, bring your hands down, step your right foot back to meet your left. Nod your head. Shake your head. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or hop forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, down. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to your arms. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, down. Step your right foot back, run your lunge. Lean on your right hand. Inhale, reach your left arm forward. Then up, then back. Exhale, up, then forward, then down. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reach forward and up, crescent lunge, or come down to the lower lunge if you'd rather. Exhale, sink forward, hold your arms, inhale, five back and up, raise your arms. Twist to the right. Come through center and twist to your left. Come through center, bring your hands down, step your left foot back to meet your right. Take three cleansing breaths and make your way to child's pose. Bury your child's pose any way you like. Notice your breath, expansion in the upper body as you breathe in. As you breathe out, maybe a sensation of settling back and down a little more in the hips.
You now come forward and back up to table. Exhale back and up to down dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to your arm. Step your left foot back. Let's set up for warrior one. Left foot at about a 45 degree angle. Right foot aligned with the mat. Feet near the edges of the mat. Take up a lot of the width of that mat. Bend your right knee a bit. Ground into the ball of your right foot and the outer edge of your left foot. Reach your arms up. Let your shoulders relax down a little away from your ears. You turn your pinkies in towards each other so your palms face back. Warrior one. Bring your elbows down against your rib cage. Lower your forearms parallel to the floor. Keeping your elbows in close. Inhale, slide your hands apart. Exhale, slide them forward. A few more times. Inhale, exhale. Bring your hands onto your hips. Pivot the left foot open so it's perpendicular to the right foot. Slide it in line behind the right foot. And if you like, deepen your stance. That's what I feel like doing when I switch to warrior two feet. My feet want to be further apart. You can bend more on the right knee. Don't send it forward further than where that ankle is. Back leg still long. Shoulders are squared above the hips. Reach your arms to the sides. Look out past your right fingertips. Inhale, turn your palms up. Exhale, rotate your arms forward, turn your palms down and then back. A few more times. If it helps you get more movement in your shoulders, you can bend your elbows as much as you want. And turn just your right palm up, keeping your lower body where it is. Inhale, reverse warrior, tip back, reach up, look up at your right hand. Left hand might rest on your left leg. Press to your hip for support. Slide across your lower back towards the opposite hip and a half line. Exhale, tip forward. Reach forward, right forearm, lightly on right thigh, left arm, arching overhead, side angle pose. Circle your left arm if you like. And if you want to play with some more core engagement, you can reach your right arm out here or out here. Or behind your back, sure, that's great. Bring that right forearm back to the thigh if it's all spread. And let's do a little dancing back and forth between reverse warrior and side end. Inhale, tip back, reach up. Exhale, tip forward, reach forward. At your own pace a few more times. And from side angle, let's inhale back up to warrior two. And dance to gentle warrior. Inhale, straighten the right leg, raise your arms, turn your head to the left. Exhale, lower your arms, turn your head to the right, bend your knee. Inhale, up. Exhale, down.
And from warrior two, straighten the right leg most of the way. Draw your left hip back, slide your right hand forward, tip right hand down, left hand up, triangle pose. Big deep breaths. Doesn't matter where your hand is, it could be on the floor or hanging in the air, resting on a block or resting on your leg. And it could be outside or inside your leg. Yes, that's great. You can also do a half five here if you like. Bring your left hand to your hip. Inhale, reach your right hand forward and stand. Bring your right hand to your hip. Pivot slowly up onto the ball of the back foot, the left foot, and step forward. And that's the point where this yogi needs a drink of water. I think I'm not the only one. It's a fairly warming sequence, even if you're in some nice air conditioner. <laughs> when you're ready, hands at your arm. Step your right foot back. Set up your opposite or one. Feet, then legs, then arms, shoulders, hands. Bring your elbows down to your ribs, lower your forearms. And now open. Exhale, return. Bring your hands onto your hips. Pivot your back foot open. Side of the line behind the front foot and deep in your stance if you like. Square your shoulders above your hips. Reach arms to the sides. Look over your left fingertips. Inhale, rotate arms backwards. Exhale, rotate forwards. Then turn just your left palm up. Inhale, reverse forward, tip back and reach. Exhale, tip forward and reach forward, side angle. Circle your right arm if you like. And if you like, extend your left arm this way or this way. Go to your half line. Bring the left arm back to your leg if it's doing something else. Inhale, reverse forward, tip back, reach up. Exhale, to side angle, tip forward, reach forward. Repeat for a few more rounds of breath at your own pace. And from side angle, inhale up to warrior two. Dance to gentle water, inhale, glide up, exhale, glide down. Then straighten the left leg most of the way. Scoot the right hip back and the left hand forward and tip to your triangle. Deep breaths. There was some weird sensation in my right hip there as I made that transition. <laughs>
Bring your right hand to your hip. Inhale, reach your left hand forward and stand. Bring your left hand to your hip. Pivot onto the ball of your back foot and step forward. Yes, I catch in my voice with me almost tipping over. <laughs> I'm starting to lose my balance. It happens to everyone. Speaking of balance, <laughs> let's play with some balancing poses. See about standing on one leg. If you like, step over by the wall or some furniture. If you have something to grab onto for support. Bring your hands to your heart. Set your eyes on a fixed point and eye level and shift your weight from one leg to the other. Bring the weight into your left leg. Turn your right toes out. Bring your heel in and up onto your ankle. You can stay there or bring your foot higher if that's accessible for you today. You can keep your hands pressing together, pressing to center, or let your arms explore the shapes, explore movement, or play with being more still. Find myself staring at a blank wall with no features at eye level. So just what you do then is just let your gaze soften, let your eyes sort of unfocus, like a watery gaze. There's nothing on that whole wall except some screws where something used to be mounted and they're probably eight feet off the floor. So that's not eye level <laughs> for most of us. If your hands are not at your heart, bring them back. Bring your knee forward, let your foot down, shake it out, and then just sit gracefully. And then never do it unless it's in quotes like that. Hands by your heart, shift side to side, feet planted. As many times as you like. When you're ready, bring the weight to your right leg. Turn your left toes out, take your time. Bring that heel in and up to whatever height works for this side. Let's see how it goes. This is some like hip that was acting up. What's it gonna do for tree today? Take whatever arm expression you like. Well, whatever that twinge was in my right hip, it's not minding tree, it feels good, it feels fine. If your hands are elsewhere, bring them to your heart. Pivot your knee forward and let your foot down and shake things out. Maybe water on the tree. Let's play with warrior three, and if you feel like it, maybe half more. No pressure. We'll see how we do. Because this is gentle class, I'll do the gentler way using blocks to come into warrior three. So this is the gentlest, most accessible way. If you want to come in some more active way, you can. Warrior three is this pose here where we bring the weight to one leg. I'm going with the left because you're just standing on your right the tree. You inhale, reach the right foot up and back. So picture your leg parallel to the floor. So you could just stay on the blocks, or you could bring one hand to your heart. 
if that's okay and you want to go further, you might bring both hands to your heart. The blocks are there for you. You could also have the wall at the desk next to you, something else to grab onto. If you're steady enough without the support, or even if you just play with one arm, you can reach back or to the sides or forward. And if you feel adventurous and you want to transition from warrior three to half moon, it looks like this. Bring the left hand to the block. Bring your right hand to your right hip. Peel your hip up so your right hip is above your left hip. Imagine both butt cheeks and both shoulder blades pressing against an invisible wall. And if you want, you can even reach this right hand up, stack it above your left the way your hips are stacked. And when you're ready to come out, see how slowly you can do it. See how much control you can just rewind bit by bit, hand back to the hip. Turn the hip down, bring the hand back to the block. Exhale, lower the foot. Soft knees, inhale, slowly stand and have a good shake. Do the other side. Just reposition so my back's not to you when I go to half moon. Yes, I go to half moon again. Yeah. <laughs> when you're ready, bringing the weight into your hands and your right leg. You now reach your left foot up and back. Stay right there or explore as you like different expressions. When and if you like, right hand on the block, left hand on left hip. Take your time to peel the head up. And maybe reach the left hand up. When you're ready to come out, just see how slowly you might rewind all that bit by bit. Nice exercise in control if you can go through the same transitions that you did to come in. Inhale, stand, shake things out. Let's have a seat. Bring the soles of your feet together, leave a big space between your pelvis and your heels. Reach over or under your ankles and walk your hands forward on your mat. Let your head hang down, breathe into your back. Inhaling, walk your hands back. Use your arms to help you sit up. Bring your heels in close, keeping your feet together. Interlace your fingers, hold your toes between your hands. Wriggle to bring the bones in your seat closer to the floor. This tilts your pelvis forward and opens your hips some more. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, hinge at those hips, fold forward with a long spine. Seeing how far the long spine will go, where it hurt. The long spine has stopped lowering, then let your head down, allow your neck to release, breathe into your hips.
can now slowly sit up. You bring your hands to your knees, lift your knees towards each other. Extend your legs, flex your feet back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Let your knees bend as much as they want to. If they want to, maybe they don't. Inhale, think of coming forward. Exhale, think of lowering some more. Inhale, walk your hands up your legs to sit up. Turn your knees up, bring your hands behind you, come down onto your back. Put your heels in close. If you like, put a block between your knees on the middle position. Press into your feet. Inhale, lift your hips up. If you want to go deeper here, clasp your hands under you. Reach your knuckles towards your heels and draw your shoulder blades towards each other. If you're clasping your hands, let them go. Exhale slowly, lift your hips down. Explore floating up and down at your own pace. Pause where you like, go as high as you like and as slowly as you like. Next time you lift up, pause. Put a prop underneath your sacrum and come down to rest on it. Press into your feet, inhale, lift up off that prop. Slide it out of there. Exhaling slowly, let your hips down. 
take a couple of breaths after you touch down. Keep those props out of the way. Draw your knees toward your chest, hug your knees. Rock and roll to massage your back against the floor. And let's grab our straps. Run it under your feet. Pull one end in each hand. Keeping your sacrum, shoulder blades, and head on the floor. Reach your arms and legs up. Point your toes up. Point your toes down towards your face. Let your feet relax. Slide them apart. Slide them back together. Take your left foot out of your strap. Press the back of your left leg against the floor. Flex your left foot back towards you. Keep it flexed. Hold both ends of the strap in your left hand. Reach your right arm to the side, palm up. Keeping your shoulder blades grounded, draw your legs to the left and turn your head to the right. Come back up through center. Take the strap in your other hand. Press your left hand down on the front of your head. Let your arm and your leg fall over to the right. Keep the left foot flexed back towards the chin. Very gently bring your limbs back up to center line. Lift your left leg, step into the strap, take your right foot out, press your right leg down, and flex your right foot back. Reach your left arm to the side, draw your leg to the right, and turn your head to the left.
bring it all back up to center. Take this strap in your left hand, press down on the front of your right hip, let the limbs fall over to the left. Nice and easy, come back up to center, raise your right leg, draw your knees in, set your strap aside, reach your feet up, reach your hands up to grab your legs or your feet, leg with bending and straightening your limbs. And breath for as long as you like. When you feel ready, make your way to Shavasana. As you settle into a comfortable stillness, whatever resting posture works for you today, you might remember the intention you set for your practice today, and reflect upon it. Or just focus on your breath. Or choose not to really focus at all.
start to find some deeper breaths. I let your body be grounded by this in any way that it wants to. Just letting the movements gradually get bigger and bigger. Take your time. And then mindfully and gently cherishing relaxation when you're ready. Spit yourself up. So welcome to just stay where you are. If you might bring your hands by your heart. Thank you for sharing this practice today. Light within me sees and honors that same light within you. Namaste. Okay, see you next time.